Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's stream um, brought to you by myself, the Mr. Richard York. Uh, I just want to give this occasion to say thank you to uh, Slytherin Games for letting me come here onto their Slytherin uh, Twitch and stream. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, of course, it is even more Astra Exodus. If you really want to find out more about Astra Exodus, uh, please check the... Um, Slytherin YouTube channel out, but also pay a homage trip to the Astra Exodus on Steam, uh, which I'll just post into the chat right now. Uh, it is definitely a sci-fi game on the list, guys. I'll click put a little link in there for you guys, if you've not looked at the Steam page just yet. It will be available on the 13th of January uh, this year. That is in one hour, 23... Uh, well, sorry, one hour. <laughs> one day, 23 hours. Uh, I think it says on the, on the page I was just looking at. So, just want to say hello, everybody. Don't forget to be if you if you are not shy. Don't forget to say a word or two in the chat. If you are honoured enough guests in the chat, I may rename and design a ship with your lovely avatar name there. <clears throat> so, without further ado, guys, where we ended up last week uh, on Astra Exodus, we are now we are currently playing the campaign mode, which is absolutely fantastic. I've had so much fun uh, uh, being on here, streaming with you guys, and you guys watching the progress of the campaign so as you can see guys we are at war war is the name and we've definitely come out of some sticky situations that happened last week uh, we uh, we are uh, an alliance with the people of color i will be saying that funny word color for a long time <laughs> i find it very funny Okay, so we are currently at war with the people of the Okurai uh, Continuum. The bird people. The bird people we do not like. Uh, we are currently at war with them. Uh, we had a, foot, a little bit of a scrape down on one of the planets, uh, but managed to pull a historic, absolutely historic, epic retreat, losing only one ship and the Continuum um, losing uh, two of their finest ships. So, and also the pirates are milling about with a lot of uh, little fighters. I'm not entirely sure how my titans do against them. Uh, I remember rightly they had 30 ships in the last little engagement, uh, but I managed to retreat out of there in the nick of time. And uh, we do have some great planets right now. We were able to push forward, colonize some big planets uh, to pull more resources into our galactic civilization. It is going to be a war. I'm hoping that we do get into more combat this stream, guys, because uh, we, we have started slow, uh, showing you all the mechanics of Astra Exodus and not rushing in there and also, you know, losing the thing. So let's have a look at our provinces uh, as a little bit of a recap from the last week's thing. So let's click our uh, colonies. So we have two colonies at the moment in time. So, we have Hindi 2, which is, it's big. It's an average size, 10 out of 13, it's doing really well there. So, we have, of course, the Populaire, the second. This is the Swamp Province, I like to call it, because they are currently <laughs> in a swamp. And it is, um, probably what I say every stream, guys, uh, I've got to say, I do love the animations of each planet. It is certainly a nice little... Um, adamant to the game so what we want to do in our last mission we needed to push down to a, a province down here which i think we just started uh, i think we actually did actually <clears throat> sorry we're missing something one two yeah we just got two provinces no this was the good province that's what i'm talking about this was the good province yeah i forgot we actually captured this I'm thinking I thought we did something in the in the north, but we decided not to colonize uh, uh, Sargon uh, because of the uh, small um, the small planets on there. We were going to colonize this planet, but I, it, it's not good enough. A small planet. We want a big planet uh, to make sure we can generate as much resources, but also have uh, a good place to uh, produce more civilians and increase that tax rate so we remember uh, we've got to make sure now we are well defended because uh, we nearly got scooped we do have this save um, literally just in case something goes completely pear shaped and we have to start again hello unknown how are you doing tonight okay so let's have a look at our fleets and what we got so we do have some we have some XTRGs uh, naming our 
uh, battleship. It is huge. Hopefully it will battle away. Now we have the new Jupiter, uh, which is literally, it is a beast at 498 uh, might there. Then we have another June Jupiter, and then we have a, another Titan, um, <coughs> the Jupiter 1. So we've got a few uh, fleets here, but I feel it is too little for what is going to be happening soon. We need to also make sure that our um, fleet is armed with invasion force. At the moment in time, uh, we did invade the one of the uh, enemy players' colonies, but we did not have enough manpower to capture it uh, and to uh, actually do a ground force attack. So that is probably more likely what we're going to do in this stream, is making sure we have more men on the ships and we're able to do other bits like that. So as you can see, unfortunately we have no research queue at the moment in time, so we'll do, uh, re remedy that very, very soon. As you can see, we have a massive amount of available food uh, for our civilization. Even though we've only colonized two planets, uh, there will be still time to push on, hopefully, onto more planets. Uh, we've got plenty of metals, uh, plenty of organics. Uh, we're okay with crystals at the moment in time. Uh, we do have plenty of freighters pushing around the vital resources to fund our empire. Uh, also, the tax rate is at 25% at the moment in time. Uh, with a popularity, popularity, Mr. York is a very popular man on tonight's stream with 75%. That could be increased. We do have a lot of credits, but only five per turn. Maybe we need to think about uh, investing in some commerce buildings to increase that. But at 1.1k, um, we could rush some buildings we need straight away. But I think as we've rushed most of our fleet here, we do need to think about increasing our credit size, but also our fleet at the same time. So let's have a quick look at our research and see what would help us uh, in increasing that commerce. I think we have only research. I think we've researched stuff. Yeah, we've well, unfortunately uh, in Astra Exodus, guys, uh, the way the research go, you can acquire it through trade or researching one on this row. And unfortunately, I've already uh, researched uh, the <coughs> colonies uh, on a on a stilt to get plus one colony. But unfortunately, we cannot then research stellar commerce, which we're going to have to try and find. We can trade off the people of Kala if they are so gracious in giving us that. Um, but yeah, let's see what other shenanigans we could do. Ooh, a market centre. That sounds something that's right up my street. So we've got a choice here of um, the market centre to give more trade, entertainment hub. I don't think morale is certainly an issue at the moment in time. I think I would preferably like to invest into uh, more commerce. Uh, so we've got five turns there. We might sit some things up in a queue and then just see how that goes. All right. Hmm. Improved dark fighter bay. We could get some defenses. Anything down on the defenses? Nope. Resources. We've done that with the mineral surveyor, which is generating a lot of us good resources. So, who? This is something I've not looked into is the starship range. I, don't, I think it's something we're going to have to do uh, to actually make sure we can push forward into uh, the outer. Uh, aspects of the galaxy uh, of also, uh, also for exploring but for uh, conquering hmm. that's a quick look so we're doing that there I think hmm, jetpacks do sound quite groovy <laughs> initiative globally generated uh, infantry troops already have quite mobile however they like oh that is Huh, I do like that. That is actually quite cool. Nothing like giving your jet, your troops their uh, jetpacks. Okay. Mm. We've researched all the weapons apart from the first one here where we can have red laser or nuclear missile. No, sorry, they're already researched. What am I talking about? Um, everything is done there. So we, as like I said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, due to it being the campaign mode, there is limitations due to the fact is, you know, being able to research all of them would be slightly crazy. Okay, oh, is So we're going to stick with that one thing there, I think. Not too bothered about fighters. I think we're just going to blow the bejesus out, people. Improved hold, storage, orbital dockyard. I think orbital dockyard. I think having an improvement, uh, plus 10% ship production would be very interesting. Especially when we're building them big titans. Uh, increasing that time is what we need. So let's have a quick look at what our colonies are producing at this moment in time. Hopefully something good. So in uh, here we have... Uh, they are generating <coughs> housing for the workers. You know, we've got to think about more ships at this moment in time. We really do, really do. 
because uh, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I think we're going to negate that research and hopefully pop down another starship to uh, defend, but also uh, attack the bird people from across the way. Oh, it's going to get nasty. It is. Uh, we've got the XTRG. I'm still tempted to... Uh, board i'm still tempted to build the new jupiter again just because it's just a, a big ship but uh, hmm, i think we will just probably build one but also think about designing a new ship and if there is anybody who could tell me a space joke in the chat when we do design the next ship i will honor it with your name of course okie doke so let's have a i think i'm going to do it and cancel that off 19 turns we could probably more likely chuck people into construction uh and that will still have plenty of growth we're still just over that knocking that down to 16 turns uh we could rush it for 2.5k but who has that money who has that money not me unfortunately i've got 1.4k so we have the fleet stationed there at our home world uh at that world there but also at our home world so we'll see what these bird people want to do uh with moving stuff around so let's just end that turn there so enemy fleet is approaching our star system. Oh dear, is this the... Oh! There's a one, one starship. Hello Van Bishop, how are you doing tonight? Nice to see you coming towards the chat. Don't be a stranger people tonight. I do enjoy your shenanigans as it is. So we've got three turns, we've got an incoming fleet. I think we can do it. <laughs> Holy moly's. The best joke ever there. <laughs> uh, everybody give that man a round of applause. You've just gained yourself a, a ship name. <laughs> uh, okay. So enemy fleet is... Oh, we've got two enemy fleets. Oh, we've got two starships there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, do we... We're in trouble. Uh, we're going to have to pull... Ooh. Oh, it's risky. One turn. We have to pull back out to pull back in again. There we go. No, we didn't say actually one was there. Well, unfortunately, it is the end turn. <laughs> That's a slight conundrum. I've never had that before. Is it because I moved that ship out? Wow. Hmm. Oh, very weird here. Uh, do I have something I have to do? Well. That's never happened before. I can't click out of the turn. Do I have anything pending? Hmm. That is a slight... And I'm, glad, I'm glad it happened on stream, because everybody can see that here. Uh, here we go. Click then the turn. You can pass the turn quickly in important events such as battles or diplomatic messages. Are we in a battle anywhere? No. Or diplomatic message, uh, diplomacy. Uh, no, we're not a diplomatic message. Are we in a battle here? Well. That is a slight conundrum here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah, the plot thickens. Hmm. I've never came to a point where I can't end a turn. I may have to reload. Um... 
Yeah, I think we have to reload, guys. I do not know what the issue is right now. Uh, so, wait a second. Uh, click on the turn. You can click pass quickly as you want. Just be careful not to import on data notification data. Data net uh, notifications, support events such as battles or messages not turn until we take care of them. Oops, I think we made a. <laughs> this is a new one to me. Is there? A, there's no battle anywhere that I can see. If I click button, something might work. I'm glad this happened on stream, guys. I think we're going to have to re reload. Because I don't know if anyone can see a battle anywhere, but unfortunately I can't. I think because... Oh, there we go. Is this the battle? Is he bombing the bejesus out of my colony? Hmm. Well, he's got free reign to. It has not liked that. Well, he's there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, yep. Yep. Hmm. No battle there. No battle here. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm not going to spend very too long on this. I think I'm just going to reload my game because I'm not entirely sure. Is he just... Um, he's just telling me my construction. So I think he should auto-bombard my city here because uh, I pulled out I pulled out that ship in the last moment. I think so, uh, Grey Knight. Unfortunately, guys, I cannot tell where I'm being attacked here, if I'm being attacked. Uh, let me just check past my fleets. Just give me two seconds, because this is a conundrum. He's there. Not in a ba I think we are fighting. We're fighting the Klingons, apparently, or the Romulans at this moment in time. But I don't see where we are actually fighting anything. Yeah, I don't know if that's a slight bug there or not, because that's slightly weird. E yeah, even the damage... Sorry, guys, I think I may have to reload that. I, I, I don't like doing that, because that's kind of a, a slight... Gum load. I've, I'm hoping I've picked the last one. It's this one here. Yeah, I do apologise to people on stream. That's not happened before in all the times I've played this. Well, unfortunately, it's given me a little bit of heads up what's coming my way. <laughs> so I'm just going to go and chuck, chuck a sh 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 few ships in there. It did have the save button. Um, it did have the save button grayed out. Yeah, so it must have been a battle to stop you saving it before it played it. You are right there. Uh, that is it's very interesting. Mm. But you know what? It's something certain to think about. And I will just try... I will, I will try to replicate that uh, when I'm off stream at some point. So I can actually try... So we are going to research the market centre regardless. Uh, we are not going to build that. We are going to... We're going to go and probably... I think we could take that fleet. Uh, what we got? What we still... What we got here... We've just got one ship, which, to be honest, is not great. And we do have a star base. You know, I forgot about that. I don't know why I bugged out. I don't know why I bugged out. Um, to be honest with you. We're just going to build some soldiers for when they try and actually board. Do you know what? We're going to stick with that. So, we're not going to... Click anything. So the followers of Kala. I think it might have been a bug there, guys. Um, so, <clears throat> well, well, because the people of Kala, she has been very nice to me recently. We are going to share our star charts. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, we do have incoming fleets. We've built the infantry. We've got ships incoming, uh, which is fine. Um, Okie doke. So, we are fine. We are fine. Troops are coming. <laughs> I love people on chat. I really do. <laughs> okay, we do have uh, a base on here. We do have a star base. I want to see how that interrupts with the battle as well. Carl's just... Car. <laughs> you have to say the accent, guys. If you ever say the people of Kala, that's what you've got to say it as. There's no there's no half arse with that. All right, we've got two incoming fleets, to two of our... Uh, uh, star... Uh, uh, galaxies? Star systems? Solar systems? Okay. That's it. We're holding tight. Oh, this is so infuriating. It's greyed out again. What is the... Slightly embarrassing, actually, because I can't work out what. I've never actually encountered it. Look. Yeah, this is, oh, I'm I'm slightly getting worried because I can't actually resolve it. You see, he's on the way there, which is fine. There's nobody there. Uh, we do have a garrison. Of course, that is our province, uh, our car colony. Hmm. I am absolutely dumbfounded right now. I wish there was a developer on here to actually talk me through this. What is actually going off? Because I've never experienced it before. Oh. Boo Manchu. We're going to have to reload it. But it greyed out saves me. There must be some... Um, <clears throat> there must be something happening that I cannot see. But it, it should only be at these... Yeah, I was only wondering as well, because this is something I've not encountered in probably the good <laughs> 9 to 12 hours I've played of this. Ah, oh, Atomic Kaiser, where are you? So there's no... There should be no... Pass, pass... We'll work it out, and then it'll be a good uh, a good training session for everybody. You know what? Unfortunately, guys, I'm I'm not going to move any fleets and accept hours. Maybe that was a bug. This could be a bug in the update, and I hope it isn't. I hope it isn't a bug in the update because uh, I know there was a slight update before I loaded up this afternoon. So I think in the premise of I'm just not going to move anything. And see if that helps. So we'll just click the research. But I do apologise to people of the chat. Uh, and people watching this. Uh, probably after the stream. But it is an interesting thing that's happened. Uh, we have idle fleets. I know that. I'm not going to move any. Just to paper it. Yes unfortunately it does happen. Um, but then I'd have to revert this mission. And I don't particularly want to. Uh, but if that, if that comes to it. It comes to it really. I just have to accept that fact. So... We'll keep everything the same and see if anything changes. So, yeah, so here we are. This is where I can't end the turn. Hmm. Yep, this is the. This could be broken, and I hope it's not, because I try not to mess with the saves once I save the game after the stream. But yes, I can see there's a, a, an enemy fleet approaching. There's two enemy fleets, and then refusing to actually. There's no. Uh, it's just a warning that there is no. Uh, uh, there is an enemy fleet on the way. There actually is no reaction to this. Uh, not that I've came across, that it is just the enemy fleet coming away and then refusing to let me to. So there's no battle, I just have two fleets.
Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it... Excuses, excuses. I know. But it's... I don't know. Maybe this is... Uh, uh, it could be a corrupt... Uh, maybe a corrupt save, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't want it to be a corrupt save because I like where I got. I got some really nice planets. But, like I said, guys, stuff like this does happen. And, you know, unfortunately, it will just happen on here. Uh, but we have to accept that fact. Um, try and get around it. Just trying to think how to get around it. Just bear with me one second while I scratch my bold head. <clears throat> so, we've got a fleet coming in. There's nothing I can do about it. There is no battle here. There's nothing there, which I can see. If we go to the Indie... I'm hitting enter. My mouse can't take it, Captain. There's just too much power on the mouse. You can hear the frantic clicking of a madman. The end of his tether. There's no battle here. No um, uh, star data. No data. No data net for the notifications. Hmm. So I'm missing something, and it's going to be for it's going to be so simple. It's going to be so simple. But unfortunately, you know what? The all the notifications just come up, so it's not like. Um, see, that is what I'm going to have to do is uh, break the blockade there. Um, but Thank you very much, Van Bishop, the man of many talents. I always praise Van Bishop on the streams, and we should do that. Right, I'm hoping this... 116... So we don't have... Yeah, I think we're going to go back to here. And hope for that, I do apologise. You can hear my daughter downstairs. Right, here we go. Here we go. So this was... So we were we here? Yeah, we're a few turns behind. Yeah, I think that was a, a thing to do. That. And it might be a corrupt save there, unfortunately. But you know what? That's the crumbles. Okie dokes. Or there might be an issue. But I will make sure I can find out what it was. Uh, we're not that far behind. Just uh, just think of what cash we had before. Are we actually at war here? Um, yes, we are at war here. Yeah. Just make sure everything is producing something relatively uh, helpful. Well, I couldn't build that. Let's have a look. Yeah, it could be a corrupt save, unfortunately. Well, I think I may abandon this. Yeah. Same thing again. There's no notification that's come up. There is no notification. So I think it may have a corrupt save. Unfortunately, that is just a little bit sad, really. But we're still at war. We are at war here. So I might have to go further back. One second, guy. Oh, it's just so disappointing. <clears throat> but hey-ho, you just have to soldier on. Mission two. So... Hmm... We're there, there, there. Let's go here. So this is even before we don't have that. Yeah, I think that save has not made this game very pretty at the moment in time. Yeah, I think the is a corrupt save there, guys. That's a bit of a shame because I've actually quite enjoyed this... Um, Oh, 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 it worked there. I'll just go back to that other save. <laughs> uh, I think the button's broke. <laughs> Let's go back to there. I could press space bar. Space bar worked. Let's have a look at that again. We'll keep everybody where they are. Okay, you can change that still, because I would like some garrison troops when they come and bomb you. Yeah, it seems the button's not working. I might have to go and post that to them and mention I'm sure.
Yeah, that it's not working now. <laughs> oh, that's slightly unfortunate. All right, we got one more attempt at doing this, guys, and I'm going to abandon this because I'm getting uh, slightly bored of this. I'm waiting for this. So there, yeah, we know when we've come in. We know the research. We're just going to drop it there. Yeah, no, it worked in the other one, so I might just have to go back and then try that. No. No, that's unfortunate. No, let me just go back to that one save before, <clears throat> and then we'll call it there and do something else. Yeah, never mind. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, guys. And like I said, I do apologise because you guys are trying to watch some of the gaming uh, stuff. So there we go. Go back to that one, and we'll try the space bar again. Okay. We're in a slightly earlier save here. Let's just uh, make sure I am clicking the root button. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It is space bar. I promise you. Okay. Yeah, I think that save isn't great. But we'll continue with this. See how far we get. And if not, I'll go and uh, pop on to a uh, uh, pop on to the uh, um, a single player uh, sandbox mode. Okay, so we're gonna look at research. <laughs> we're gonna go to the market center. I'm gonna continue to see if this works. Yeah, no mind, guys. It's just sadly unfortunate. So I'm just gonna seem to be working for now. Okay, so we've not met the bird people yet because we've just had to start again. And I, my biggest apologies to everybody, um, but I'll just keep clicking enter instead, uh, spacebar instead. So we are further back where we don't have this province, and I think we lost our colonizer ship here uh, due to my silliness here on actually. Uh, not, we pushed forward too far, uh, which was bad. Okay, so we're gonna uh, unfortunately no. We did have the two provinces. The we did actually, we did actually colonize the swamp planet. So this is the alternative save we had. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going with that. Uh, and we're just gonna make sure we can just build as much as possible. We are gonna build the Titan again to take this world here, uh, Monocros, uh, just because it has this big planet that we had last time, which is absolutely fantastic for resources but also uh, credits oh I'm gutted we got that far gutted okay you gentlemen shall come back because you went into a bad bad combat last time yeah so I think this works now uh, so we are eight turns off the ship uh, eight turns off building there we need to make sure we do have some research uh, and we're going to go, and I think this time we are going to go to Interstellar Commerce. Uh, we're still at 1.1k, able to. We're still uh, largely negative in some of the uh, credits and metals, oh, sorry, metals and organics. We need to make sure we can keep our infrastructure up. But unfortunately, we did lose that colonizer to this slave ship uh, when we tried to retreat back. So we're going to hopefully catch up from where we were before. We are building a Jupiter Titan to go and finish him off. Uh, but we've got to remember the Contortium of Bird People will come back. So we've... Um, Research the stellar commerce. Uh, so we are now we're getting plus 25%, uh, which is good about this as well. We're not actually building a building. It is just a research. Uh, and we are actually... So let's see what this lovely Lady of Kala wants. Of course, we're just going to accept that because I would like to have her star charts. Uh, and we have the first contact with the bird people. Oh, uh, we know aggression will come eventually with these people, but hello, Mr. Birdman. I'm loving the little bit of art for the alien creatures. Certainly a lovely design. Okay. Of course, they'll be begging research offers very, very soon. But we need to remember they are going to be a nemesis at some point. So, research has been done. Let's go for, I think, population cloning. Uh, so we can actually get a percentage boost in our population. Uh, do you know what? To keep this guy sweet just for a little bit more, we are going to click accept. Okay. How far is this being built off? Three turns, so we can actually. I think we're gonna sit the three turns. I think. And there we go. 
<clears throat> we do have now a big starship on our side, uh, but also we do need to generate a uh, colonizer ship to start colonizing the uh, other place down to the south. Uh, but also we need to lay waste to this uh, <laughs> galactic menace here, because uh, unfortunately he did absolutely whoop the colonizer in that previous save. This is the alternate save we did when we actually got killed. All right, so what do they want again? Unfortunately, begging, probably begging stuff off us again. But uh, we can't get the market research. I think we want the market center there um, for the master. And we, I think I'm happy with that. Sorry, we give them the research. Oh, go here comes the color again. Oh, and what actually would benefit our civilization at this moment in time is swamp terraforming. As we've uh, uh, terraformed, uh, well, not terraform. We've actually colonised the swamp planet. This will go miles for us here. So if we, I suppose if we go to our swamp planet now, or the swamp people. Um, ba ba ba. I've never actually seen this before. Yes, 130 turns. So we can literally. That is amazing. So imagine if we have nothing else to build on the swamp planet, uh, we could literally just change the planet for us and uh, more likely would increase our uh, d increase our morale uh, and lower corruption that is actually a fantastic thing i wonder how much that would cost uh, to rush build i can imagine it being a mighty mighty cost i mean we are building housing construction here i'm tempted just to get uh, food on the way so we can start getting more workers into the construction so probably hmm we could do an exo farm which will be good. And I think I am going to rush that with the credits we do have to get this uh, 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 planet up to standard with it all move planets. Um, hmm. Let's have a look what else would be good. Exomine material. I don't think they're very much on this planet, unfortunately, for uh, metals. Is there no organics and rare, or just organics more than anything else? <clears throat> so, hmm. I think it could be soil enrichment food so anything else is particularly irrelevant to build here but that planetary tra terraforming is up my road it really is hmm. it's gonna cost two upkeep but we are in the met we're in the money at the moment in time uh, we do need that to keep pumping out as much uh, things that and here come the uh, <laughs> here come the bird people again oh brilliant thank you very much there for ochre shield uh, you always scare me with them little things you do so we need to get a colonizer asap and i think i'm going to change the reese they build here uh, we need to go down to colonize that big planet because uh, unfortunately if we don't we will lose it and that is a massive dent here on the rat race uh, to construction so there we go and we will put the market center after that so we can get some more gold and all the rest of it oh, we've got plenty of stuff to build here 1.4k we are not rushing that Hopefully they are not rushing there already, which I do think they are. But they, I think they've destroyed the menace. Is this a colonizer? We'll certainly see in a second. I need to appease this man for the moment. So we, like I said, guys, we are just going to give him what he wants for now until we are actually at a point where we can probably tell him to get lost. Ooh, interstellar negotiation. That might be something we research right now. So actually we can uh, bring slightly more peace uh, at the short term. About appeasement. Appeasement for now. Oh, but 20% oh, but minus uh, glow, uh, ge uh, corruption generated. That's not a bad thing there. Oh, that's a toughie. I think the population, uh, just for the credits... Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Birdman, I think I'm going to have to give him what he wants there. All right, I'm going to quickly just save the game, guys, just in case we have an issue. Just remember TO58, uh, just in case. I just don't want anything to go particularly wrong like um, with that save. And I'm not, like I said, I'm still, I think that was a bug of some description. Here we go. We have a new fleet. So we are going to now push these to here, uh, drop the colonizer. Uh, the people of Kala. Um, I, I have all the wisdom here, and I think it is nice that I'm going to keep trading with her uh, and eventually just start rejecting uh, his deals, which I, I'm fine to give him for now. I'm fine to give him for now. Um, I, I, no, we're, we're not going to propose a treaty just yet. We're going to colonize this planet. Uh, so, brilliant. Another starship that we just built.
Nope, I did not click the right one. Ha ha ha! Let's get you back down to that planet quickly as possible. Uh, but we'll move our fleet down there at the same time. Oh, has he built? What has he built there? He's built something on the on the planet that I. <sighs> you sneaky devil! Sneaky devil. Well, that's fine. I'm sure he's just took over that province. I'm sure that was just my planet. I'm slightly now confused. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> he just take my planet. <laughs> Um, well, I think he did. Okay, that was particularly weird. We're going to have to give him all he wants, because uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I cannot, I can't not deny him what he wants. So we're going to have to, uh, uh, of course, colonise this planet here. That is fine. Uh, we need to start building stuff here. So we do have a lot of things here, which is fantastic. This is such a big planet, a large. The main thing it is, just, it's just a large planet and so worth uh, actually having a fleet here. Okay, so first of all, I think we're going to try and increase the food production straight away here. Uh, what would the rush be? 3.4. Yeah, I think I must have clicked something there. Oh, I've got to keep them happy. That that I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I, I'm I'm going to have to replay this video after the uh, after the stream and just see how he just took my, my my swamp planet after I got swamp terraforming as well. Um, well, we need to start building uh, more warships. I think more warships because um, this man is really starting to annoy me. Uh, we're going to pull more people to construction, even though we are. Becoming a more in debt, of course. Yeah, I'm sure he just, I'm sure he just took my planet. Oh, he's asking for planets. I think I accidentally clicked it in a in a in a excitable thing. So I'm sorry. <laughs> he's, he's he's having a giraffe, isn't he? Yep, I can give you all the stuff, lady. You're right, I clicked it by accident, so be careful what you're clicking, guys. Oh. So, interested in trading with the uh, trading government? Pursuit of mutual profits. We're inter uh, interested in the following exchange. Yeah, no, I did. Exactly, Mumin. I can't believe I just gave him the, I gave him the keys to the back door. Ugh. Non aggression pack for now. We're not candid about the bird people more planets. We're going to get that planet back. <laughs> Do you think? Oh, you know, we're sticking with it. We're sticking with it. We're sticking with it. That's fine. Uh, I, I, that, to be honest with you, me having to terraform that planet uh, wasn't great. Yep. And they just declared war on us anyway. Oh, that's probably worth a reload. <laughs> oh, my word. Yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, guys, that is <laughs> game breaking there a little bit. So they ask for a non a non aggression pack, and then just come come storming at me. Wow, this man's angry. He's got he's got some anger issues here. Oh, it it, it could be vaguely worth the reload there. I think I think what Pambisham said. I'm gonna have to reload that. That's just too negative for me there. Wow. I, I think we are gonna reload that, guys. That was such a bad one. Um, I think it was this one. Wow, I can't believe I did that. I just clicked the planet over. Oh, silly person. All right, we're going <laughs> to not mess up. I think all of that messing around with the... Um, uh, we will rush that. Uh, the column. No, we're going to find that's just going to be as it is. Nope, that's not going to improve it because of the resources. Yeah, you're right, guys. That was... Uh, 
such a bad giveaway. But I think regardless of what's going to happen, uh, he is just going to try and declare war as quickly as possible on me. So the people of Kala are cloaking field, as iron irony just there. And he's going to ask for the planet. Yeah. Boo you, Mr. Birdman. Boo to you. Okay. I've got no navy. <laughs> I've got one warship and I'm just about to build a colonizer. There we go. I've got the colonizer now. Uh, so this colonizer is going to pop down to uh okay uh that's the colonizer uh that we do need to build a warship <laughs> after this uh, my 10 unfortunately not good enough no, we're just going to have to build a <coughs> a Titan class of something. A battleship for seven turns is not good there. That's not too bad. I'm going to have to accept that. Yeah, just be very careful, guys, because it, it seems very easy just to click buttons. Uh, yep, and there it goes again. It's just declared war on us. absolute nasty man he does not like me at all at all okie doke so let's see what we can build in this uh, budding pro uh, unfortunate <laughs> undefended uh, province uh, unfortunately they're both very new there so we've got five turns for that and I think unfortunately I am going to chuck the credits at it Okay, so we built that. So we do have a fleet of a few ships here. There we go. Uh, two slightly good warships there that can do some damage. So we just got to make sure that we can actually build another fleet up here. Make sure everything is actually building something. Nope, you need to build something. <coughs> maybe maybe a garrison, maybe which will defend you even if you're going to get bombarded. Uh, to fleet. Uh, so we know this planet isn't good for particularly much. Oh, we are now thoroughly on the defence. Now, I'm slightly unsure what to build here. think the farm will have to do and we're just gonna have to we've got three provinces uh, which can go for and how many turns are we away from them for four turns but we still need to build up that fleet there we go okay so he's approaching our system he is two turns away they're the pirates the pirates may leave us alone okay the people of Kala uh, that's fine to actually uh, start uh, <coughs> training with them once again. So, advance rear scanning. Uh, we have some idle fleets. I know that. I know we do. But that uh, it's slightly better. How long to build, to build that other ship? We are mega and it can be negative now. Two turns left. That's fine. They blockaded our province. There's not much I can particularly do about that. Uh, but that is the pirates, though. So it's not the bird people who will probably colonize and do all sorts of bad stuff to me. Okay, so let's do it again. Uh, we are going to build oh, something that's not going to cripple us. Uh, fine, I think it's just going to be these ships. Um, got a battleship. We could do another design soon, but we just need to concentrate on... Uh, we could do a bit of a few frigates to change it up a little bit. Yep, uh, the pirates have invaded me there. Hmm, yeah, we are going to build some cannon fodder. But the pirates do have 10 ships there. They did it there. 
Uh, I'm not too sure, UFO. If you go and ask Silver in chat, they may be able to ask you or try and uh, message um, Atomic Kaiser on their website. That must be worth doing. All right, so the pirates. It's not a pirate life for me. So we could go in and just attack the pirates. We are very much on the defence here. We are very much on the defence. Okay, we're built. Uh, we've got a labourer. People of colour. That's fine. We can have all the trade with you. All right, we've got to think about, do we just come and stomp the pirates or not? That's the question, guys. Do you think it should go down to attack the pirates? Or should we deal with the bird people or not? All right, let's have a look here. We've still got enough freighters, but we're going to have to build some more after that. Uh, and I think we're going to build another battleship. Or I think I might design another ship, uh, a big a big Jupiter. That's 14 turns, but I think we want that. I think we do want that. Okay, we've actually built it there, so we are actually in defence here. I think we're going to build a star base. <coughs> so build a available colony, better even star troops, and agents to you transform planets while the mouse. Woo! Thanks for the follow. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to keep developing this uh, swamp planet because <laughs> we need to. Mm, I think it's not worth the exo mine for what we're going to get here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think the pirates can just start colonising more bits and bobs, and they've taken that town. They've actually colonised it as well. Uh, yeah, they have actually colonised it. They've got ten ships there, but depending on the quality of ships, we've got more. We've, we've got some. We've got assault frigates. Uh, we've got some battleships. We are building some more. I think we just sit in our laurels maybe for a turn or two uh, before we can actually start trying to. Because we know at least we can push left or right for the two provinces. So there we go. Now the bird people are on the way, which is the issue. Three ships, one troops. I think we have to push out here. Yep, there we go. They're on the planet. So here we go. This is going to be interesting. So we have a combined might. We have six ships. Uh, oh, is that 1.8k? Holy moly. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. This is 2.1k assault battleship. Mm, I somehow feel I'm going to get absolutely smashed. Well. Tactical combat it is. Do or die. I did just see the... Uh, that's how big these ships are. I did just see the battle token uh, <laughs> actually go all in their favour. Okay. Um, you know what? I am very unsure uh, who to attack here. Oh, <laughs> they are big ships. They are big ships. All right, do or die as it goes. Uh, yeah, it's... <sighs> Should have retreated. Should have retreated here. All right, big, all right, Grey Knight, we'll take out the big boy. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine the armaments he's going to have on it, but it's really going to hurt me. You see, he attacks you so quickly in this uh, in this campaign. This is not going to be pretty. <laughs> I can feel this coming. This is going to hurt. Unfortunately, I think maybe retreating would have been slightly a better option. Um, oh, it's firing pink. It's firing purple goo at me. 
he doesn't have any shields though. Remember guys, you have shield, you have armor, and you have hull. Uh, he's got mighty range here. Yep, we need a... <laughs> oh, one of them small uh, assault craft are about to get a lot of firepower hit towards it. I'm not entirely sure what ranges I have here. He must have huge range. I think the ship here is about to uh, explode. We have fired some armaments in, <laughs> in in retaliation, but I'm believing it's going to be very little, little too much late. Unless something epically happens here. What's the armaments on this bad boy anyway? I, I can't actually see. He's taking a lot of shots to that front armor, but I think it's it's got a lot of hull. He's on fire. He's taking a lot of hits there from our ships, but we are also we're going to direct fire on one of these small bad boys here because he's going to explode any second. Get out of there, son. Where's my little ships? Where's my little ships? Oh, we've took that on the chin. We've just got to accept that. Come on, guys. Power to engine, sir. Can I have some sort of spacecraft emoji in chat? All right, remember, uh, damage is directional, guys. Uh, whoo! Sending them bird people packing. Can I have all of the uh, UFO emojis, please? <laughs> I bought the bird repellent. <laughs> My special secret weapon. <laughs> How the hell did we win that, guys? How did we win that? <laughs> that must have been all of his ships. Come on, I want to see more emojis. <laughs> I can't believe we won that. I don't know. You see, now I'm uh, uh, attacking is red. You see, he had such be better uh, attack ratio. But the boy is ours. We have won. <laughs> Just... You know, guys, every time I play a game, sometimes it is blind luck that I actually pull any victory there. Get out of town, son. Get out of town. This is my town. Boom. Did he actually... He actually... He actually nicked my planet. He actually nicked my planet beforehand. I've got no troops to take it back. <laughs> he took it. He took it back. He took it. Uh, we need to go back and load some... Load some guys on there and just uh, come back. Oh, the pirates are attacking my home world. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is not going to go well. We might just lose this now, I think, for... Okay, we've got a uh, space battle in Indy. Oh, he's attacking our... He's attacking our thing, so yeah, th he's actually... Ah... <laughs> uh. Yeah, we left the home world unde unde undefended. Uh, but also, it'll be interesting to see how a st uh, a uh, space station actually defends. Wow, God, we've had a rocky hour, we have. That first, that save not working, and then the bird people coming to kill us. I still want to see how this uh, starship... Uh, star oh, wow. It's not, it's not actually as big as I was expecting it. <clears throat> yeah just click fast on that yeah so this is the pirate fleet attacking our home world 
unless it has like a uh, kind of a crazy missiles, which I, I don't think it does. I think there's that many of the low, uh, the small ships, but they only equal 1k of uh, attack there. Hopefully we can jump our uh, fleet in there just before they actually, this may just hold them one turn before we actually get them. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. Is it going to unload some? What's the ranges of it, actually? Well, you ready for the power? I'm ready to be amazed. Oh, it's fired something. Oh, unfortunate there. <laughs> we, we did see that. Uh, I think that could be GG. Yeah, it's gone. They're they're attacking ground now. Ooh. So this is something I've not seen on Astra Exodus because I've not really bombarded many planets. Yeah, I think it is gone. So we do have now the ground war. Uh, so this is now the troops on the ground. Remember, each ship can uh, uh, hold depending on the uh, cargo capacity of it. So deploy. So this is the pirate's life for me. We've got one troop. Uh I might click auto deploy. That seems the way to go. The one versus is I don't think this is going to go uh, very well. Yeah. So there we go. We did actually get whooped there, guys. Uh, <laughs> that was interesting, though. I got to say that was very interesting. Boo, boo to them. We're going to load that resave up, guys, and go back on there and just try and stop that defeat. But it was interesting to see that uh, what we actually did there. Um, it's load. I think I know which one it was. It was that one. <clears throat> but I was very impressed at the uh, at the uh, surprise. You know how well our uh, ships actually performed in that attack against the uh, uh, bird people. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if we can stop that. And hopefully the pirates decide to do something different rather than uh, attack me. So I think we are going to rush that uh, for 75 credits. Yes, we are. Uh, I know it's going to be a thing. So we know the we know the big classes of ship do do a lot of damage, uh, which is what we want. Which is what we want. And we we may not colonise that planet just yet and just uh, concentrate on the two planets. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba. So let's just have a quick look. What is the worst thing we need to do? What's the worst thing we can't? So we know the so the orbital four. You must be able to build more than that because just it just didn't seem to do very much. But I suppose in conjunction with uh, your fleet, it will do some damage. It's fifteen turns. Oh, that's, that's like way too long. Way too long. Right, let's see if we can uh, avert a disaster. <clears throat> so what has he got here? It's got one starship there. Here we go again. He's so rude. And then he just declares war on us anyway. That's fine. That's fine. So 14. This could be actually unwinnable, actually, a little bit. <clears throat> I think if the pirates didn't attack us at the same time, I think we may have just pulled it off. But we only have one. We have the colonizer, which it's pointless colonizing that, that, that planet. It really is. It really is w not worth colonizing just because they're going to take it back straight away. There we go. We're going to do the trade again. <clears throat> the fortune of this colony is just way too small to be making an impact. 17 turns is just too long uh, for a starship. There's just too many, too few people in there to actually do anything. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes, I think they are working together. They must be. They must be working together. So we just need to pop out as many starships as possible. Uh, you see, not really worth doing that one there, but we could just colonise that planet just to have enough, some or more income. Uh, and also we are protected uh, on this. I know it is a little bit of a crap planet, but I think if we just have something on here, we can do something more uh, rather than having too many other eggs in other baskets. Ooh. So we're we still building that ship, which is good. <clears throat> yep. And five turns for that. Yeah, so we're going to have to defend, just make sure we can do, have two places to defend, and then we can do some more shenanigans about it. And he just beamed there for some, how, however he just beamed there. Okay. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this Sargon place, we are going to have to let it go. Uh, let it go. How many ships has he got there? Two ships. I think we're just going to have to accept our losses there and not move from our home world. Leaving our home world undefended uh, was a bad idea. Uh, and I think we just need to keep this place defended, uh, <clears throat> but also have a, f a big enough fleet to split up and start conquering land one bit at a time. He did actually bug out of. Uh, he did actually leave there. He didn't actually take it, which is fine for now. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have enough transports. So that's what we've got to change. So let's uh, build some more freight. We'll change that there. One turn for that. One turn for that. That's not a problem. Yep, so the Instellar Market, which is good, because uh, that's given us a plus one commerce per trader in the colony. But there is a, a, a construction, <coughs> an upkeep cost there for that. Uh, but we're just going to keep the cash coming in, but also building them, mo building more fleets. And the freighters have happened. We've got more transports, but we are slightly crippled due to resources here. Okay, we could increase the population there. That sounds good, but minerals as well would be awesome. But one that, and then the mineral survey, and then we'll pop another ship after that, and then we'll have something more uh, to defend our province with that. Hmm. For a second there, my game has stopped again. Oh, the unluckiness, I think. <laughs> I did this last time. It has stopped responding. Oh dear, it's in a bit of a, a bad news tonight. Oh, wow. We have been slightly unlucky tonight, guys, for some reason. This works fine normally. But I think we can continue it where we popped off. That's not going to be a problem. Oh, the horrific, guys. The horrific. I'm going to have to click close. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is true, Van Bishop. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yes, they are grey knight. What have I done? I've not prayed to the the dice gods tonight. <laughs> oh. Normally everything works fine. I don't know. I think it must have been the update. It must have been this update they've done, whatever. I think they've changed something in the game's files because it, it never ran this bad last time. <coughs> the gods have cursed me. It's for all the luck I had last game. It must be. Uh, but like I said, uh, it, I have shown you some more of the mechanics tonight, which have been interesting. But that 
bug with the uh, end turn. Really, that really was uh, bizarre. And like I said, I can only apologise, guys, for any um, slight technical difficulties we've had. Uh, you know, uh, it's not definitely not my computer. Definitely not my computer, because <laughs> my computer is brand new. But I will mention this uh, to this living group, uh, probably after the stream. Hmm. And I was doing so well. <laughs> I was doing so well. Okay, doke. Back to it. Maybe the positive ways from the chat will hopefully help me. So. I'm awfully tempted to revert back and back just to do that. Yep, we'll take that hit, see if this is the right one. Like I said, guys, I do apologise. I think I might stream just a little bit longer to make up for the uh, shenanigans that have happened. Yeah, what we're doing, we'll, just to say, which I think I should have done at the start, we'll revert straight back to the start of the mission, uh, because I think it's something we just need to do. Okay, so we're going to go to research again, and I think, of course, we are going to research uh, Stellar Commerce. Yeah, I know, guys, and I can only apologise. Uh, like I said, normally things are better than this. Uh, we have a hero waiting. Remember last time we did have a waiting, but unfortunately we didn't have enough uh, uh, gold or credits to actually hire her. Uh, the colony is idle. Uh, we need to make sure we can. We want to colon. We don't want to colonize Sargon again because it is quite a poor, pro a poor uh, star system uh, to actually colonize. We'll make sure it's 30 turns, which is fine. Uh, we have the frigate, but also we have the colonizer, which both have uh, zero might that need to run away. So we know there's a good province there. Uh, we know that's a bad province. Fortunately, the it seems the um, the provinces will always stay the same. So we're going to go there. That is fine. We're going to uh, research stellar commerce. Uh, we're building. We're building. What you, we're building. We're building housing for our colonies. Yet yeah, twenty-eight, uh, twenty-nine turns. Well, that seems like a very long time. And angel angle uh, low. Unfortunately, that is very very small. Not worth anything of note. We know there is the slave trader somewhere. The slave ships. We know Sargon there is not fantastic. We do have the colonizer still. But remember, our home planet does have indigenous population, uh, which shenanigans can do. No, it can't rush that. We've got particularly nothing we want to build anyway, because it has all the buildings it needs. And we've uh, researched Stellar Commerce, which is... I, I, every time I play this game now, I'm going to research that. Because uh, just having them credits and being able to rush uh, build stuff really does help. So we're going to build some population cloning again. Another good one to get our uh, uh, new colonies uh, up to growth rate, which is going to be interesting. So uh, we do have the followers of Kala coming in. Yeah, unfortunately, this swamp planet, I don't think it's a good planet to be uh, on. Uh, then we can go to the... Can we actually go that far? Yes, we can. Might be something more up to that north... Uh, <coughs> northwest location. So the people of Kala, I think we are going to accept the multiple rockets. Yes, please. We're going to make sure we're not going to hand over planets like we did last time, which was quite amusing. So what do we have here? Unfortunately, two very bad planets here. Uh, not great. And that is out of range there, so we're going to have to come back. So we gained a labourer, which is good. So we can actually push that into the either the construction or the food. Uh, I think we're going to push it into construction, uh, lower the turns for that housing. Uh, but we need to make sure we are uh, designing our warships very soon. So, population cloning has been developed. Awesome. <coughs> 
I think the minus 20% corruption globally, I think we're going to go for that. I think that will uh, give us a good start with the uh, uh, the credits income and not have as much corruption as we would normally. So the followers of Kala would like to come and talk to us again. Um, I'm happy to give her all the stuff, that's not a problem. Okay, four turns there, and we need to think about what we want to build next. Uh, we could have the population uh, out of the colony. Mm, it's not bad. I mean, do we want the population? We're going to get the taxes from it, so I think it would be a good start. But I think, of course, starting to build up a some sort of navy, uh, or, to, or we could try another research after we research. We could try another titan class. That might be worth to do. So we've got a... <coughs> We could do that. I think the Van Bishop, I don't think the Van Bishop went over from the last game, um, which we can give him a, a, a name here. He did say the best joke last time. So. <clears throat> oh, no, it just designed it back up again, didn't it? I'm sure it did. Oh, it, it brought it back up from last time. I'm sure that's, did that save it? I'm sure that saved it from the last time we played. Well, I can't particularly uh, argue with that. The might of the Van Bishop. Or is that exactly the same as that? Has that just copied that over? I think it did. Oh, sorry, we're going to delete you and do you again. Because I was typing that again. And it... No, that must have been a, a miss error there. <clears throat> Okie doke, so we're going to design you and see what other guns and nuclear missiles we can add to the ship. <clears throat> so, as we research the uh, multi-rocket pod, we're going to add some multi-rocket pods to this ship. Uh, and lasers, and lasers. Uh, one green there. And we could do with some red lasers. We've got some nuclear missiles already. Yes, we do want shields. No, you are right. We, d we we need to. What we'll do is we'll drop the research for shields next. That is a, a promise. So iron thrusters, armor will be titanium armor. Now we need to add our support modules. <clears throat> so we've got a lot, lot of energy we need here. You see, I don't want to put colonizer on it because I don't know if this actually destroys the ship as well. Okay, doke. So we're going to go for a nuclear bomb. Uh, we're going to go for basic capacitor. There we go. Nuclear batteries. There we go. Uh, and hold. There we go. So that is the bare minimum we need there. So there we go. The Van Bishop. And he's a mighty 517 might. So certainly the might of... Will be the mighty of mites for our empire. <clears throat> I can imagine this uh, <laughs> ship being horrendously bad to build. <laughs> Cut the upkeep on that beast. <clears throat> I think we are going to build that, and I think we are going to build the Van Bishop after that, uh, and then hopefully uh, it will be fine. Like I said, I'm going to give this a little bit of a save just to make sure. So it's uh, TO220. And there we go, we gained a labourer, which is going to be awesome. So we can actually pull them into other things, like food. So it seems the uh, computer has de designated them into uh, food production. So we're now able to have another growth in five turns. We need to get another colony uh, up very soon. Uh, we built the uh, uh, <laughs> people on stilts. So 38 turns for that, we're just going to go for it. Uh, we need a big warship. It's going to drain us for a few turns. Uh, but I'm fine with that. We've gained another labourer. And there we go. Got the minus corruption. Let's now go for the shields. I think the shields are the way to go here. Uh, <coughs> if we are able to do it. And actually, no, we're not actually going that far. So where is the... Sh should be under defences. So the armour... Uh, is there a metal armor? No. Where would the shields 
be. That is not basic hold. Enhance shields. There we go. <clears throat> a subsurface extractor plus rares for a colony. Uh, that's pretty good. Minus percent globally generated. Hmm. I do like that one. Okay, I think we're going to go for fusion missile. Well, let's go for a few weapons uh, research, which I think would be quite thing because we know uh, that the bird people will come and get us at some point. I think if we click here, drop some people into construction. Uh, it might hurry this up a slightly better. Yeah, 14 down, so we can hope with that. And then we'll push the colonizer down uh, with the ship as well. So, people of color. Uh, exchange the authority for the tech environmental life support systems. Yes, please. Uh, we'll propose a treaty, <clears throat> and I think we actually, I think we're actually, we are actually allied to them already. Uh, so we'll just keep being our alliance there. And the bird people have been spotted. <laughs> And here we are. Yes, I'm not particularly liking these guys at all. Stellar Commerce, let's keep them sweet for a little bit. But I think they're forced within the campaign uh, to attack me at some point. And there we go. The Van Bishop has been created. And I think we need to create another starship uh, quite quickly after this uh, to defend our territories. Oh, sorry, I keep clicking there. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and here we go. We do have now the uh, s uh, uh, the space menace here, uh, but we do have our uh, <coughs> our Van Bishop, the pride of our navy, hopefully able to defeat it with five hundred and seventeen. So we should be able to. We should win this. <laughs> Let's hope we'll, our colonizer should disengage uh, while our main titan goes into combat. But remember, he does have shields. The next ship we need to design will have shields, I do promise you. Uh, look, as you can see, the uh, colonizer is set to disengage, so it, it autos disengages. You see, the first time I've seen rocket, rocket pods, so I think it should be a, a slightly more increased range here. Oh, just speed this up a little bit. He does have... I wonder if he'll go straight for the colonizer. Or will he go for the warship? I hope he doesn't go for the colonizer, to be honest with you. So I think the uh, rocket pods must have a decreased range here. Here we go. I don't think he's going to uh, give much of a defense against our titan. But that shield is absolutely amazing. It seems to be having... It recharges ever so often. Here it goes. I think this small ship has several arcs to it as well. Rather than what I'm doing at the moment where it's just a frontal arc, he has several arcs. I think the small missiles here are the rocket pods. Wow, he's tough. <laughs> it seems to be under me at the moment in time. I was hopefully we can finish him off. Oh, 
<laughs> Holy moly's. I... Where is he gone? Uh, let's uh, push the engines out of here, because... Uh... <laughs> he's actually... He's actually... <laughs> there he is. I'm very vexed to see this guy destroy me. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Well, that was a tactic I didn't expect. <laughs> no word. Come on, come on, just don't die. Don't die, please, because I've got nothing left. He's not even smoking. He is. He's <laughs> slightly embarrassing. Mighty Van Bishop. <laughs> Can I just deflect some of the armor onto that right side? No, the left side. Oh, wow. I think we've been destroyed. Can I hear a no in chat? Oh. <laughs> he took us with us. <laughs> it does look slightly damaged. <laughs> that was that was awful. <laughs> How did it do it? <laughs> Except the fate of that poor ship. <laughs> Disaster. Disaster. <laughs> that was just harsh. That was just so harsh. <laughs> yep, it has been a bad, bad day, guys. <laughs> just... Oh, shenanigans. I think I've clicked, unfortunately, as well. I think I've just clicked that ship to move somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, well, quite luckily, before that colonizer came back, um, yeah, <laughs> some pirates turned up there. Uh, unfortunately, the pirates know they could probably walk into my base uh, and upset me, with, and I could do particularly nothing about it. Okay, uh, the cannon sounds good for any infantry. Our fleets have arrived. <clears throat> well, I can only apologise from the shenanigans that have happened so far in this stream tonight. I don't think any other planet here are particularly uh, good for us. No, just that one other planet, which is not great. That's really bad. Or really bad. Yeah, the upkeep is absolutely huge. I think uh, we are going to have to just uh, Leroy Jenkins that a little bit. Yeah, I think that is right, Bam Bishop. You, uh, but we did learn something today on this stream that don't go head to head with a small menace. Because uh, it will end badly. That was just horrific. I expected the Titan just to blow it out of the water. And literally just say happy days. <clears throat> mm. 
Okie dokes. So that is fine. Uh, we just need to produce as many chips as possible, and I'm going to have to rush this, uh, quite frankly. So I think it's going to be. I think we've understood now that a combination of large, you can't just go all large chips. And I, I quite like that fact that I've actually understood that now that you can't just go Titan, 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 and expect to win each battle uh, because of that. And I, I honestly, I, I like the fact that I've learned the hard way uh, because I won't be doing that again. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to do the plasma, uh, plasma repeater. Uh, we were going to find green fireballs at people, hopefully. Uh, I think next time we're going to have a mix of uh, frigates, uh, cruisers, and destroyers uh, supporting the Titan rather than doing what I just did because uh, that was literally absolutely insane what just happened. Oh, you... Nope, I'm sorry, little man. Really sorry, you, you, you're not having that province. <laughs> okay. I would like a non-aggression pack, that is fine, but I've got a sneaking suspicion he's going to declare war on me within the next four turns. <laughs> Right, we're going to build some infantry. We're going to board it on some of our cr our planes, uh, our, our, our ships, just in case. So, space infantry. That's disengage. The Vambish ship is just way too expensive at this time to build. <clears throat> so, this planet is absolutely quite good. I think I need to build, I need to actually uh, support it with some of my uh, <laughs> naval aspects very soon. Okay, the enemy fleet is approaching, so we have the pirates. That's a pirate life for me. He is four turns. I will give you my star charts, that is fine. Yep, he's going to declare war on me. So we should have a, a, quite an interesting battle here. So he's got six. I'm going to go for this. We have the combined might... He's got 10. We've got plenty here. So it's going to be interesting now uh, with what Vampire should. It makes it interesting. We actually do We do have a few smaller ships uh, to hopefully... We've got one that was going to disengage, but the other shall hopefully do some damage. But it was interesting to see that small menace actually defeat me. I think we're all going to... I think he's going to disengage. Yeah, he is disengaging here. So first of all, I've seen the enemy ship uh, disengage and not want to like this. Or it could be harass. Is he? No, he's disengaging. He's just completely disengaging. So at least the computer is not too soon enough just to go in for a suicidal attack. There is a reason behind it. No, that, that's actually quite interesting. Floop for the wormhole. Run, fiend, run. We'll claim that as a victory. Okay, so I think we are gonna uh, we are gonna build a bigger ship now again, uh, and then just fill it with small ships. Uh, so we got give the Titan. That's fine. We might take some guys off food. Make sure there's not too much starvation there. 16. Nope, we're fine. I 
five turns for that. And of course, the bird people have declared war on me. Hmm. So, are we have fleets idle, they've declared war, that is fine, that's fine. I mean, I wonder if it would be interesting if we could actually make peace with the uh, pirates um, and see what they say, just to keep them off our backs. Should we say proposed treaty? Uh, nope. I think we cannot, I think they are that angry with us. Uh, I think we could probably lower their anger just by giving them, uh, I, think it's, I think it's locked. So it is a permanent reaction there. Hmm, okay. Give what the bird fleet here one ship. We are about to build another ship here, which should be good. 18 turns. Okay, the people of Kala hopefully coming to help us or give us some easy Yep, yeah, let's have all the technology we need. So the exo mine has been built. Brilliant. So I should uh, hopefully keep us losing as much uh, resources as we have been doing uh, over the last couple of turns. Yeah, that's fine. You see, we could go on the aggression here and start blowing their planets up and trying to board some. I may regret this. Now we have researched the plasma repeater. That is good. So we'll at least have some uh, uh, an extra plague bomb plasma. We want shields, don't we? That's the main thing that we want here. I can't research that there. It should be under defences. Pick for more armour then. Oh, so I think by uh, <laughs> by the look, I think that was the blockade planet that's, that I was looking for. So I think we managed a, a very minor victory there to complete the mission. That was interesting. I think just from that one uh, battle we did against the pirates uh, with that one ship. So I think by the look, and actually I'm glad that it pushed us out of this mission due to that error we had uh, with the um, <coughs> with the next turn button, which was slightly unfortunate. So I think we actually it makes us progress onto the next mission. I seriously want to play one of the sandbox missions. <coughs> All right, so I'll let everybody read that for a second. <coughs> Sweetly comes out. So I research of many pirate wrecks, especially those supplied by the Carol from the pirate main base. They paid off a military commander. We believe the family possesses the exact representative of the Ark, the legendary first ship of the Exodus fleet. The treasure of the chosen information we can discover within the vessel uh, cannot be overstated. It is fine to recover. Must priority uh, for the ELT. That's our task force. So let's. Uh, all right, let's see if we could actually uh, carry this on. We've probably got, got plenty of time left. Uh, we will save this straight away. So if there's anything, prob we have any problems with that turn thing again. So we'll skip the tutorial. Click the save. So we're at T triple uh, O. So there we go. So that makes sense. So we have to follow the distress signal. Uh, we have to research the story of Exodus. Remove all menaces from the sector. So, wow. So it's nice to see. We have an interesting array of uh, different planets from white dwarves, blue dwarves, red dwarves, uh, white dwarves. What's this one called? Neutron star. Oh, that's very exciting. A red giant, all sorts. Okay, let's have a quick look at our home planet. Look how good it is. Oh, buddy. Wow, it is amazing. Wow, it is average, normal, 100%. 5% um, <coughs> for the uh, uh, corruption. Uh, the rarity, we have a beautiful place. Natural wonders. Wow, plus 50% morale. That is so handy to have. Okay, let's go straight into the construction. I think into housing construction. Let, now, it would be nice to see if we are actually being given more researchers. And as you can see, as the campaign has um, uh, moved on, uh, we are given even more um, uh, uh, unlocks to actually unlock and as you see the weapon the weaponry is getting massive now we've got uh, cluster cannons fusion lasers plasma torpedo launchers i think the weapons are only going to get bigger 
heavy and massive they're only going to get more scarier but i think we've got to remember that um, actually having the smaller ships supporting our larger ships is what we're going to have to do we can't just have do what happened in that previous mission uh, we've got planetary shield um got pollution preventer that's brilliant interstellar network i'm liking these late on technologies we've got airline cluster microfusion engines exo rangers they seem like mechs of uh, so the most elite the final form of infantry so i think we're given most of the researchers here um what we've got the knowledge matrix nanite factory Yes, I was I was told to play the campaign, Van Bishop, uh, but I'm sure once the game is released on Thursday uh, that I will be able to play the sandbox, uh, but I'll, I'll have to ask. <clears throat> so we got on a power, singularity reactor, ground batteries. I'm really loving these later end technologies that will uh, make warfare a lot more killier. Uh, core, metals mine, subterranean farm, that's plus 12 food, wow, so it's going to improve the uh, provinces hugely. We just want the shields. These shields will make it all different. I think it will completely change the game uh, for the faction. Hyperspace indicators, shield coils, compressors, wow. Pretty, pretty happy with some of them researchers. But fortunately, we're going to have to start at the beginning. Uh, I think Stella Commerce, just the just the Commerce to have the camp, just to have the credits rolling in, it is worth worth that weight in gold. Um, recycling plant, twenty pollute. That's actually gross. The waste becomes more of a problem. Measure the health and the productivity of the population is maintained at the least. Recycling plant is the first effort to making it, this a reality. Uh, the kernel installation capable of neutralizing part of the waste. Wow, that I. That is a good thing to have on one of these big planets where you know you're going to have a lot of construction going off. I think we're going to go for arid terraforming here. Uh, we're probably going to go for a good cannon. Uh, we'll set some of the researchers off just to be playing off in the background. I've got military council. Ooh, that is a good one. That is good. If you think you're just going to go for the, uh, you know, well, mostly a military victory. Um, is that just troops or ships? I think that's just troops. So having just a set number of troops there uh, will definitely negate the upkeep there. Uh, we've got entertainment hall, the market center. Mm. I mean, I do like trade. I've got to say, uh, trade is something that I would like to do. So we've got the farm. Uh, mm, merging organics. Or the transports. I'm not too sure they will come up there in a second. So we're just going to make sure that we are going to be producing some more warships. And we're not hopefully going to send our uh, one colonizer to its death. <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, so we need to do a little bit of an explore to where we are. I reckon there must be pirates somewhere very, very soon. So have I selected the right one? No, I've not. Do it again. I do beg your pardon. I will just wait a turn to click that out. <coughs> Okie doke. So we're still idle. I just I think it should be fine to send them both in. He says that. But I keep selecting Oh there we go, that's the one. Unfortunately, we don't want to uh, bumble into a menace. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Uh, <laughs> of, course, of course, if we would have sent our colonizer in there. Um, yeah, that would have been bad. Bad. Well, he is going to... The Also, the... Uh, see, auto retreat, we could be destroyed here. So, unfortunately, you have to... I think if you auto-resolve... Ah, uh, this would be a good trial. No, I'm not going to do it. We're going to tactical combat. We know he's going to disengage, so it's not a problem. Uh, but we, if I didn't want to go on to the uh, actual combat uh, auto resolve, and he just die, which would is is the scout ship at the moment in time, and that bloody menace as a shield.
there we go we are off there that's that's fine that is fine uh taking no damage that's what we want we just we, we don't want any of that shenanigans there unfortunately uh and it does auto kick you out which i do like yeah we're not we're not going to attack him uh but we've explored the system. Is there anything actually worth attacking again there? No, we've got a uh, a tundra planet, a frozen planet. Ah, it's a very nice blue there as well. Uh, do you remember actually building in a colony? <coughs> or building a housing complex? See, my eyes do not help me well with that blue. There we go. So a darker blue is diselected. A lighter blue is selected. All right, so we gained the laborer there at the uh, Dnebra. Dnebra, Dnebra. <laughs> however you pronounce that. I think so we're going to probably chuck one or two uh, uh, workers into there because we can afford that. We've got nine, uh, so we're just producing enough to feed our colony there. Hopefully there we'll find a habitable planet for our next colonizer. Oh, exciting. So we've explored the next star system. Let's have a quick look what's in here. Oh, we do have a uh, a, a Terran planet. That would be ideal. It is unfortunately small, uh, but will generate us some resources. And it is uh, very close to our home planet. It has a very lovely asteroid. Well, we have a uh, arid planet here. Uh, which is good for us still. It's still green, um, but I don't think I want to colonize that just yet. I mean, if the choice of what we have here, uh, this seems the better option. So remember, don't chuck your eggs in one basket because I've found that you know sometimes just chucking in with your colonizer is not a good thing to do, especially uh, as it's a very slow vessel and will just unfortunately get shot out of the sky by the menaces. So Stellar Commerce has been researched, so we should be having an increased uh, amount of credits there. Let's make sure we can now colonize this planet. And there we go. Brilliant. So we can go with the colony with the housing complex. So let's have a quick look to see if we actually do have any heroes or anything we can actually hire into our fleet. Unfortunately not. That would have been a... I'm sure we will actually pick them up as the time goes on. Uh, but we're trying to... We've got to follow the distress signal, research the storyline. So let's have a quick zoom out to see where the main... Uh, where is that? Where will be? Where is the red? There we go. So it's down here in this uh, province to the south. Uh, it's a mighty distance with no warships to our name. Uh, so I think we have to, and there's more likely going to be pirates or other menaces on the way there. So let's just make sure we can build enough of a, a force to actually do anything. So we're going to Labra, which is fantastic. We're four turns off there. So we need to think about what ship, um, so what research we've got in line. Uh, we've got the Gorse Cannon further on after the uh, terraforming you see we we only have the choice of the arid or tundra uh, we'd have to research uh, to get uh, the tundra uh, <coughs> and the other finder which is not a problem Okay, let's have a quick read of our uh, governor. That's what he says. We have plenty of reserves in our treasury. Uh, we could lower the tax rate. Uh, remember, if we decrease the tax rate, uh, everybody will be happy. Uh, things will go a lot quicker. Production will be on the up. Uh, everybody just be a lot happier, which is fantastic. That's what we want. Uh, uh, let's see what else he wants. He's going to tell me to decrease it again. Seriously consider reselling as soon as possible. Uh, special project. <coughs> So we're asking, we currently have a special project available. Oh, it's the special projects, uh, specializations. I think this is what she's talking about. I think we're going to go for, um, oh, enhanced beam energy. Yes, please. Let's have a quick look at our two provinces. Uh, 19 for there. 
Uh, and you can see 100% happiness there. People are happy. That is really good. And I think with a natural wonder, uh, plus 50 morale bonus for the colony gives that extra special uh, uh, bonus, which will just go a long way there. And I think we could probably think about building uh, some <coughs> some frigates or some um, destroyers uh, to help us along the merry way. Nine to tactical assault. I mean, we could build a, f a couple, uh, but then also have a big um, a Van Bishop. Hopefully, he'll do well this time. Or a Jupiter One just to engage. Uh, could we just need the fleet? Unfortunately. Okay, colonies again. So we're still building that. We're still building the colonies. And there we go. Remember, we want a mix of a uh, fleet uh, to, you know, hopefully uh, defend our borders, but also uh, to push on uh, to other things. So, ooh, a galactic plague threatens the galaxy. Oh, that's a new one. I don't think someone's been not. I think someone's not been washing their hands. Our people are suffering, uh, and xenon plague has been unleashed upon the sector, effectively reducing the population growth of all sentient life, including the Terran civilization. Dark whispers talk about approaching virus, heralding the return of the ancients. Pitiful ignorance of Hiroshi, surely. Who? Let's see how that affects us. Is that now going to do? do, do? Okay, we've not been washing our hands. We've put been punished for it. Oh, ho, ho. and the shark people have found. <laughs> so, welcome to the galaxy, comrades. We like in off our brothership <laughs> and your people hope to the common good of all. Though, attempting the social engineering by the Terran, we have much to teach you. Wow, well, unfortunately here, this is going to be interesting. I think they're not going to be happy. I think the uh, the resource, uh, I think some of the computers may be set to being not very nice. Uh, where was their provinces? So we know there's a, that there. Where did he actually pop up? Um, so we've got the red, uh, incoming transmission again. Wow. <laughs> Straight away on asking us for provinces. I'm sorry, mister, but a reject. And I don't think he looked very happy about that. Ha! Oh. Wow! Straight on the asking for a province. No, yes, sir, at all. Okay, so I think we need to build some. And there we go. Thirty-seven turns for that battleship. Well, I'm happy with that. Oh my word! In the final hour, guys, he just declares war on us. How is this? People are so aggressive on this game tonight. <laughs> Laborers have no bullshit lies. Speak pain directly, so it's a test as the patient any further. What is the invitation bring it today? So they've just declared war on us. Wow, this uh, has a certainly uh, uh, end to this. Well, very nearly end to the stream. So we only have two warships to defend our planets. They must have a lot more uh, hidden around. But wow. But well, at least we have the save at the start. Um, yeah, surprisingly, he declared war on us. Nope, we don't want to do that. I don't want to ask me to do that. Yep, <laughs> it's on Steam, Van Bishop. That's where it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, we, they are not. I thought the bird people weren't happy with me. Um, unfortunately, not much I can do right now, apart from just spam the turns until I get uh, the Gorse Cannon or some other ships. So, people are still getting poisoned by this uh, galactic virus. That is particularly fine. Oh, what might has he got? He's going for our province. We're going to end the stream on a negative soon. Uh, I'm going to auto-resolve that, and unfortunately, I'm going to lose the frigate, which is not uh, 
and then our ship should get in here, and then we should now battle him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, we'll have a bit of laughs for the last five minutes of the stream, guys. I carumba. The big red ship of the shark people. As you can see, each uh, enemy civilization has different uh, you know, different ship models. Uh, the Steam Workshop is going to be amazing for this. What has he got? A lot of lasers. Wow. I don't think I'm even playing on the hardest setting. I really don't. I think I'm playing on a very low setting. But the computer player is uberly aggressive against us. Straight away asking for that. Is, well, he's, he's, he wanted me to give it him, but he's going to take it. Yep, time for YOLO. I do agree there. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to go very well. Oh, he's shooting at us already. We have inflicted some damage on him. I, I will not lie. Oh, we've just gone. Oh, we're pulling. That's it. That's it, guys. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this. Uh, <laughs> take a sip of my drink. No! <laughs> so close, but so far. That was so close. So, so, so very close. But unfortunately, a destruction. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I do apologise for any technical difficulties we have had tonight. Uh, it's been a little bit of a shame. I'm just very surprised how aggressive the computer player has been tonight. On them two missions, the computer player has just been the hyped up so hyped up in aggression uh, and literally just did not want me to do anything uh, but the, unfortunately like I said ladies and gentlemen it has come to the end of the stream like I said apologies again for any technical difficulties uh, I may uh, I am streaming again on Thursday night where we'll play probably some sandbox mode I may play a little bit longer guys just to make up for the fact is uh, we did have slight few issues but uh, just a few things for tonight guys remember uh, you can buy this on Steam um, you know remember all the some of the key game aspects uh, of the armor we got armor we got shields we got hull um, remember fly uh, mix your fleets because not having uh, a lot of fleets uh, of different ship sizes just curving but you know guys that was a very harsh stream tonight I'm glad everybody was uh, glad everybody enjoyed it uh, but unfortunately that was difficult mighty difficult so thank you for delivering games uh, don't forget guys check it on uh, Steam it is very very entertaining um, but I, there's a few aspects I think that was a bug but we'll just get over that so thank you very much guys and I will hopefully I will definitely see you on Thursday night so put that in your calendar uh, that will be 6 GMT uh, that will be Thursday the uh, 30th of uh, January and I'll see you in a couple of days guys and um, bye bye